Hey guys, alright, so some of you have installed, um, you know, your Windows 10 has finally gotten pushed to everyone out there, and some of you have gotten the Japanese version, and some of you have experienced that Quitana won't work because it just, you know, it can't work in the Japanese version so far, because they just haven't pushed it out or allowed it to work. Um, one case where um, Cortana just, you know, it says that Cortana will, has been disabled, you know, by company policy. And some of you guys who are upgrading from, like, say, 8.1, 8, or even 7, it has, you know, removed your Steam. That's because it installed, you know, not English. Because there's some cases where, you know, stuff like that happens. <coughs> Okay, so, first of all, how to change, you know, your C C Cortana's voice and language in Windows 10. Um, this is pretty basic, it's just, as long as you can read or, you know, watch or listen, it'd be pretty simple. Um, hold on, right here, I'm just getting... Okay, so what you want to go ahead and do is go ahead and just, like, hit your start button. And you want to go down to settings right here at the bottom. Now go ahead and just click time and language, speech, region, date, and hold it over to the region and language. Now see, I've already added the language by the United Kingdom, um, UK, Britain, right, British. Um, so let's go ahead and add a language. And of course, you're going to want to go ahead and look this long list of languages and find English right here it shouldn't that be far away so that's easy so go ahead and click English as you know as soon as it's there um, you're gonna go ahead and want to click it and hit set as default and options so say this is you know this is United Kingdom for me but if this is, you know, uh, English, U.S. English for you, go ahead and hit add a keyboard and make sure that you find the one for the United States, English, U.S., you know. <coughs> so once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and go through this for you. So I'm going to add a language so you're not so, so you're not so confused. Um... What do I add? What do I want? I will actually probably use something, but I don't know what I want. Okay. Um, I'm try I'm trying to find Spanish. Where is Spanish? Uh, okay. Let's just go French. Sometimes I'm gonna do Switzerland. So there. Windows 7 will be the pop up saying we're adding some new features. You can look in your notifications and see that. And. Go ahead and click that. And you can set it as default. I'm actually not going to do this because I have no idea if. Um, how to read friends, French, 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 whatever. So. It's going to be downloading automatically when you, you know, click it. Handwriting, speech, you can download all of this right here. And even download the language pack. So, go ahead and, you know, add the keyboard, start down in the handwriting, speech, and the language pack. And once that's done, um, it, you know, it'll be default. So, uh, it should take over and automatically be start seen as a language. And go ahead and over head to speech. Now, this will actually fix some, uh, some things in Cortana. You'll see the choose language you uh, you speak with your device. Make sure you cl make sure you just click the one you added. Um, if it's not there yet, that's because it hasn't installed or downloaded yet. Whereas I have English, so I'm going to click English. Um, you don't need to have the recognized non-native accents for this language. And for text to speech, you can mine actually opened up a lot more, so I changed mine. You can preview it, you can set up your microphone, and all that right here. So that make sure that when you add English, it's set right here as default. And it's already set as default. And 
Options. Yeah, so that's how to change, you know, your Katana voice, not not Katana voice, but uh, like your voice that some apps may use, and um, text to speech, and that is how to also change and add English as your main language, and for the keyboard as well. Um, as well, when, it, when you add a keyboard at the bottom over here, you're gonna get a keyboard thing. And as I just yeah, I just put a uh, French. You can also use the French keyboard, United Kingdom keyboard, and the U.S. keyboard. So you can just click that right there and instantly change it. Um, yeah, it's just, just some of that's different. Um, shift one, two, three, four. You know, some of that's different. Whereas W S D keys are not different. So that is um, how you change that. So I hope that uh, this was a you know a lot easier for some of you guys.